Big Daddy here, and today we're going to tweak elementary OS. So let's get started. So by default, elementary is not really meant to be tweaked. Okay, it's meant to be installed and used just the way it is. It does have an app center with uh, specific programs that you can install, but by default, you can't add PPAs. You can't do what you would normally do on most Linux desktops. There is not a whole lot in the settings area to tweak. It doesn't give you the ability to change the theme around or the icon set. Those are all things that you would need to add if you wanted to use this. But I think there's something to be said for running elementary by default with the default icons, with the default themes, because it looks beautiful just the way it is. If you start changing to other themes, and there are not many themes out there that will be cohesive across the board, and the same with icon sets, it starts to lose its appeal to me. Not that I don't want to tweak things, because you know me, I love to tweak things, but just as a warning, a beware, when you tweak things, things start to go wrong. So I've got a website here. And this guy did a great job of putting together uh, things to do after installing elementary OS. The first thing, obviously, is to update your system. So you can do that by going to the applications and opening up the App Center and then clicking on Updates. And it will search for any available updates and update them. The second thing would be to install useful apps. And he has a list of apps that he feels are useful, Firefox and Transmission I did install, but I would choose different ones for these. The ability to use PPAs, which is something, it's, which is a must for me because I need to run OBS Studio. I want to run the latest version of Kden Live. So in order to add a PPA, you have to type this into your terminal. Otherwise, you won't be able to add a PPA. So once you have added that to the terminal, you can then install useful apps from PPAs, including elementary tweaks. Now, again, this there, there are not many tweaks in the normal settings. This gives you the ability to tweak it to a certain extent. But even with this, it's not a system to be tweaked. It's not, it just does not have the ability to do that unless you want to open up Dconf editor and do it manually. Elementary plus, uh, gives you certain icons like for transmission, it will allow you to run a symbolic icon and redshift rather than, uh, the normal out of place looking icon like OBS has. Now OBS is not in elementary. Uh, um, in here. Let me look. Elementary Plus. So what you do is you turn this theme on once that's installed, and it will give you a list of applications that it can change the icon to. Unfortunately, I don't have any of these installed to show you what it looks like before and after. OBS is not in this uh, listing. So you would basically flip this switch and it would flip it from the regular icon to a symbolic icon that would look like all the rest. Now, indicator for KD Connect. This is one that's in here. This is one that I would say beware of trying to install. Not that I don't love KD Connect because I do. I think it's one of the best apps out there. But this specifically for me caused multiple problems with the wing panel freezing up and causing complete headache until I removed it. I don't know if it, the conflict is with the wing panel or if it's with the KD connect indicator or a combination of both, but either way, this did not work, work out well for me, just so you know. So here are the 
PPAs for elementary tweaks, the plus, and the KD Connect indicator. Okay, so it says in, to install Eddy from the App Center to be able to install .dev files because by default you can't install a .dev file because there's no program on the system to do it. Now, you can install GDebbie and that will work, but actually Eddy is pretty fast. I installed it and it worked it worked better than GW in my opinion. Um, I did have make the dock transparent and you do that by holding control and right clicking anywhere and hitting preferences and then changing the theme to transparent. Now, this is a must for me. So I must have the super key open the menu and by default it does not but if you do add this through a terminal it will open up the application menu with the super key which is something that I love he suggests to install TLP to increase battery life but I don't have or use a laptop so that's not really uh, good for me to set up hot corners it depends. Uh, I have the one hot corner to uh, show up multiple or the multitasking view. So I don't have multiple windows open here, but that's what it, that's what I have the one hot corner set up to. Other than that, I didn't really set up any hot corners. You can uninstall apps that you don't need. So from the applications menu, uh, and this only works on certain applications. And I believe it only works on the ones that are installed by default because it doesn't work on everything, but uh, let's see here. I don't think there's anyone that I really want to uninstall right now. So we'll just, you can right click on one of the apps in here. And for example, like, like I said, it doesn't work with every app, but like this one only has add the dock for an option, but the calculator, something that comes in pre-installed has an uninstall option. If that's what you want to do. And then show your setup to the world and keep updated with all things elementary. And he gives a couple links here. So the super key is a must. And there are a few other things that I wanted to do, but was in, was unable to do. So I did install Synaptic Package Manager because I think that is a must. Uh, one thing that it doesn't come with, it doesn't come with an Office suite, so you must install LibreOffice or uh, WPS if you have the need for an Office suite. And this did also allow me the opportunity, or not allow me the opportunity because I already had the opportunity, but it kind of forced me to trying out new mail programs like Geary. And I actually installed Evolution again and have been trying both of them out and I'm actually leaning towards evolution but it gave me the opportunity to try them out again and the last thing I'll say is the beautiful wallpaper came from my good friend chicken and I love it so I think that's all the tweaking we're going to do for right now so if you have any more tweaks you want to add post them in the comments below and we can all enjoy them. But until next time, Big Daddy out.